Well, I'm still cleaning out and finding things I never knew I had. I found an envelope last week and look what was inside. Hey, hey, it's the monkeys. Mike, Mickey, Davey, and Peter signed this photo just for me. Okay, not really, but as a fifth grader, I thought they did. My teacher, Mrs. Winoa Hickson, suggested this really cool class project. She gave us the TV addresses for the networks and encouraged us to write letters to the stars requesting autographed photos. This gave us an opportunity to write letters, which was a big deal back then. And of course, what could be better than going to your mailbox in Bryant, Alabama and opening an envelope from NBC Burbank, California. So I put more time and energy into this project than just about anything else. Every day I wondered who would be sending me their autographed picture today. Would it be Samantha and the entire cast from Bewitched? Here are a few others from my collection. Does anybody remember these boots are made for walk-in by Nancy Sinatra? Well, I sure do. And not only did I get a picture of Nancy in all her glory, but also an invitation to join her fan club for $2 a year. Sorry, that was a lot of allowance for me, Nancy, and I had to buy stamps. How else could I score a photo of the one and only Ken Berry? Remember him? This is a prized possession. Ken was the star of F Troop, and he wasn't a big name, but he was on TV a lot. He went on to Mayberry RFD and Mama's Family. Look at this. He signed that picture personally to David. And you're probably thinking, oh, he had an assistant do it. I don't know. I just choose to believe Ken was a good enough guy that he responded to his fans one by one. Besides, maybe he didn't get the volume of fan mail the monkeys did. Either way, Ken made a lifelong fan out of me. And his F Troop castmate, Forrest Tucker, also sent one. It wasn't personalized, but I think he really signed his name because there's an ink smudge on there. You know, if you've never seen F Troop, look it up on YouTube. I think it was written with fifth graders in mind because we thought it was a riot. But fair warning, these shows were created before the era of political correctness. Don't say I didn't tell you. You know, Westerns were so big back then, and I got autographed photos from the two biggest. One I watched, the other I didn't. First, Bonanza, which I watched, and it brings back great memories. The first person I knew who had a color TV happened to be our preacher. So every Sunday night, we would go to his house and watch Bonanza in living color on NBC. Back then, that was a rarity. It was a real treat. Gunsmoke was on for 20 years, and it was enormously popular, but I never really watched one. For some reason, it never appealed to me. But it didn't stop me from requesting an autographed picture, and I love this because the cast members are smiling, and they didn't get to do that a lot on Gunsmoke. I also requested and received photos of the entire Ozzy and Harriet cast. This is the picture everybody wanted. Ricky Nelson's music is underrated to this day, and that's too bad. He put out some great singles. I love this 1967 picture of the Beach Boys, even without founding member Brian Wilson, who had stopped performing by then. His brothers Carl and Dennis have both passed away, while Bruce Johnston, Al Jardine, and Mike Love still perform. Brian does too, just not with the Beach Boys. And I'm sure my little fifth grade brain had no idea of all the turmoil behind the scenes. Still, when I listen to their music, I only think about the good times. And there are others as well. Remember Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In? I got a great autographed picture of Ruth Buzzy and a very interesting one from this guy, Artie Johnson. And I can't forget Mr. Rogers. Well, as I think about my teacher, Mrs. Hickson, I am eternally grateful for a class project that was educational and fun. And I wonder that if she knew that even in the year 2020, her students would treasure these great memories.